Hey guys, welcome to this video. I wanted to show you a really cool, um, kind of a tiny house, kind of a tree house, um, you know, just a DIY project that turned out really nice and really unique. Probably one of the more unique homes or cabins I've ever been in. So um, I'm gonna have Stacy follow me in with the camera. The first thing I wanted to point out though, before we go in there, is you can see the roof up here over this portion of the house. He's actually coated it with, um, with moss, uh, which gives it a cool, unique feature, maybe like a more eco-friendly feature, more insulated feature. So come on in and let's take a look, Ross. So as you can see, the exterior walls are made um, of all rough cut pine. Uh, it still has the bark and everything on it, so it's all rough cut timber, which gives it a really cool feature. Really cool look. Come on in here. So in here, this is kind of like the main living area of the of the house. Um, the first thing I wanted to point out is this really cool uh, log wrapped with these rope lights. This is a really cool, uh, gives it just a real rustic, um, and very unique light fixture. And very inexpensive too, probably just got this Harvest's log off the property. And these are like just Harbor Freight rope lights, so really neat. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you uh, is the this is kind of like the dining room area and just have some stools here that tuck up under. Um, the walls are made again of like rough cut, uh, the, the wall construction is rough cut pine and then you have like corrugated tin that was, he said he took it off of like a chicken coop. And then all the shelves and everything are still like the rough cut pine so they all have the bark on them. It's a really neat feature. And then um, this is the, the kitchenette area. What this is is like a, it's this is like an outdoor kitchen that he made. It's very modular and brought it in or made it in here. But um, you got your stainless steel sink, and then the fridge underneath, and some shelves here. This is actually um, ceramic tile. It looks like wood, like hardwood flooring, but it's actually ceramic tile that he built into this kitchen. And then he's got the uh, rough cut shelving here that goes all the way down. But let me take you to the bathroom first and show you that. Um, this is a, it looks like a pocket door because it slides back behind the kitchen, but it's actually not a pocket door. It's actually just a sliding like barn style door that goes all the way back but it gives the illusion that it is like a pocket door. Um, but in here, this is, the, this is the bathroom, and the ceiling to it is, this is actually an old satellite dish. He cut a satellite dish in half, like the old satellite dishes that everybody had in their, their yards in the 80s and 90s. He took one of those, cut it in half, and used it as a dome roof. So if you come on in here, let me show you. Um, this is actually uh, like decking right here. So um, if I'm not mistaken, this actually opens this actually drains out into the, the, the ground beneath me. So if any water spills out of the shower or anything like that, it actually just drains out through these floors, through these slats and the, the deck boards here. But this is another door that opens up. Really cool, unique, like dome shape. Um, opens up here and then lashes. Um, but come on in here, let me show you these, uh, the towel hooks. These are a really cool feature that he just harvested off the property. Some kind of birch or something, I'm not sure. But, um, Really cool feature, these little towel hooks and you can hang clothes and stuff. Then you have these shelves that go all the way around. It'd be cool to add some like LED rope lighting back in there. But this is the shower, if you step in here. So it's all corrugated tin, so it's not, you know, it's impervious to like rot or mildew and everything else. Um, all rough cut timbers up here still. Then he built this sink himself. Um, the sink is like a... I don't know what, number five pail, I don't know what they call those, but it's like a galvanized pail. And then you put the sink assembly down in there and then just put some nice nice fixture on. So really inexpensive sink and vanity. Um, so very unique. You can see, you can still see actually the um, where the bolts were to hold the satellite dish in place when it sat in someone's yard. So let me take you on around and we'll go up to the loft and I'll show you the loft. Up here. Like those cast iron pots right there behind you? Yeah. And then... Uh... Stacy loves cast iron. I hate it. But, Watch me that toaster. Yeah, yeah. Let's. I'm gonna show you this cool toaster. This is a toaster probably from like the '70s, if I had to guess. But um, it's cool. It's like a R2D2 toaster, <coughs> like a little robot that pops up and you grab your toast out. It's really cool. Made by General Electric. Back when General Electric made good stuff. So this is a queen bed up here, and um, the uh, the walls are plywood, and it looks like he stained them 
um, but it's just you know a half inch plywood basically and then he's got these um, these LED light strips up here to give it some some ambient lighting and then uh, like a shelf with a suitcase AC unit that blows outside right here um, another cool vintage uh, accessory up there so a lot of space up here in the loft but the, one of the really cool features about this loft um, is the fact that this actually releases so if you are a sleepwalker or you have young kids or something like that or all the above and you're sleeping up here you can actually drop this down and you know and that way you don't fall through so you made a funny face like i was about to fall through <laughs> um, i just tested it out for you so that's a really cool feature and it just gives you more floor space too you have a trap door so uh yeah and you can see the view out the windows here is just all the natural lighting is really cool in here. Mm. So we'll head on downstairs. There's always this balance that you have to strike with stairs in a tiny house like this, with um, them taking up too much of your floor space downstairs, but then them also being too steep for people to climb down. So these strike a pretty good balance. Um, if you watched my prior tiny house video about when we built out a tiny shed, uh, the stairs that I built, the ladder, it was really just a ladder. Uh, it was kind of in inadequate. It was just a two by four ladder. But these are nice. These are nice stairs. So let me take you out. One of the best features of this tiny house is the outside. Um, but I want to show you the, I think these are eight foot exterior doors. Um, so they're a foot, a foot taller than the normal um, residential exterior door, if I'm not mistaken. But they just let in so much light. It's really cool. But we'll, we'll go on up here. Now, none of this is climate controlled here. This is just a porch. This is a deck. It's all covered over, and you see like the stained glass light fixture and all the, you know, the corrugated tin and that dome shape. It's a really, really cool feature, really unique feature. Um, they have a futon out here and stuff. So if you did want to sleep out here, the weather is nice, you could do so. But this is a really cool feature. Um, if we come out here, I'll show you the view. And this is why he calls it the tree house, because it's built onto the side of a cliff, like a bluff, basically. And, um, you know, it's maybe a 50, 60 foot drop down here. So uh, when you walk out, you know, this is the view that you're surrounded by. It's really cool. And I'm sure the camera doesn't really do it justice. But you can hear a nearby waterfall, um, which is over in that direction. It's like another 60, 70 foot waterfall that's splashing. So you can just, you know, it's just really peaceful out here. But maybe if you stand right here and then take a shot that way of the, um, just don't fall. So that's it. This is, like I said, one of the coolest and most unique tiny spaces I've ever been in. Um, so I, I just wanted to feature on the channel and show you guys. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me and supports my channel and makes YouTube float my videos so more people see them. Um, if you have any questions or anything like that, comment below. But subscribe to my channel if you like these kinds of videos. And we'll see you guys in the next video.